we hear again today, there seems to have been possibly some confusion on my topic last Monday, and it's the issue is not about my uh, submission to the RFP, perhaps being rejected, uh, or the project being canceled. It is the fact that for the sixth year now, it appears we're not going to have a marina restaurant or bar on the water at Smithville Lake. Um, the Parks Board, I believe it's Mr. Walter, has told us that it's been on the Parks and Rec Board's agenda since December. And the problem with that is the window of opportunity for this year is closing quickly. Um, if it's not open by Memorial Day in May, the late season is lost to it. And we've got basically six weeks to pull this off. Um, whoever gets the contract or does the work. We have uh, apparently set aside as a county $700,000 in this year's budget for the development of a land-based restaurant for some reason. There's no RFP uh, or any contract award for that money, but yet it's there. I'm trying to find out when the next parks board meeting is so I can attend that. Legal did contact me as you requested uh, on Friday, and him and I discussed the fact that perhaps I'm at the wrong uh, vantage point here, and the Parks Board is the one driving this and making decisions. So I'm going to try and reach out to all of them. Now, uh, Ms. Ridgeway answered one of our voters' emails, uh, contributing the fact that the county has done a number of great things, such as planting trees, and upgrading electric, and fighting the flood of last year. Oh, that's wonderful. And also included in that was the fact that they're going to do a TV show about all of our trails and our uh, equestrian events that we're having. That's great until they zoom in with their cameras on that empty restaurant building and go, what's really missing from this lake? And the boaters, the slip boaters in general, generate a million dollars in revenue every year. And that's just pretty much a slip fees and they want a restaurant on the water. We're trying to convey that message. Now, in the last week, I came in here and told you I was representing a group called the Smithville Boaters, uh, the Smithville Lake Boaters Social Group. It's a group on Facebook. Last Monday, we were 175 members. Perhaps due to me being here and our press over here publishing stories, we have doubled in size to 325 members in less than seven days. So the word is out, people are in support. We need to figure out how to convey this message to the county of what we would actually like to see and not what someone has on their agenda. Personally, I have taken the route myself of what several St. Joseph people have done, several Smithville voters have done, Last Saturday, I purchased my boat. It sits on Perry Lake, Kansas, in a slip at Rock Creek Marina. And that's where a lot of people are moving to because they have the amenities. They have the marina. They have the restaurant. They have the nightlife. They have a floating hotel. I mean, come on. We could be great. We're just not doing it. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I just want to correct one thing that you, well, maybe not correct, but certainly uh, maybe expand on one of the points that you were talking about, and that was um, the Parks Board, uh, while, you know, full of good people and do good work, they are an advisory board, and they don't have any actual decision-making. They can certainly recommend, but uh, if I'm, am I correct, Mr. Kessler? Uh, I was waiting for an opportunity to correct that as well. I did hear that. That was not the discussion we had. The Park Board is not the driver or the decision-maker. Certainly, an advisory body that is sound and work with these kinds of issues. Uh, additionally, my first suggestion, I think it's probably still the best suggestion, would be to provide me some of his folks to meet the staff, the folks that actually work on this at the, at the staff level, to see if we can work through any of these issues uh, and maybe present some of the question. And I point that out so that uh, you don't end up running down a, a path that might not be as uh, fruitful as, as you would hope. And I appreciate this. The problem with this is the word staff doesn't tell me who. I need a name. Yeah. 
County Administrator of Brookshire, I think would be a good place to start. Gentleman right there in the purple tie. Who is, who is this name? Um, Dean Brookshire, County Administrator. County Administrator. Mr. Wright, you, you mentioned that the press ran with your story, and I also read that article. Um, it contained in total what you had handed out as a proposal um, to this commission. We tried our best to hand it back to you. I did see it. I couldn't miss it in the press. So you put a bid in for an RFP that you're complaining was canceled, right? I'm not complaining that it was canceled. I understood why it was canceled at the time. I understand to this day why it was canceled. I understand that this may disqualify me. This is not about me. This is about the county and what the voters want and what the voters would like to see. Smithville Lake is Clay County's gym. I, I, I love Jesse no, James. There. And I love I love Kearney, Missouri and all of its history. I love uh, Liberty, Missouri, and all of its history. One side of my family is RLDS, so they've been very aware of everything that's going on in Liberty, Missouri. Uh, I love the county. It's the gym we need to develop. Yet, yeah, I don't care if I'm on the project. I just want to see us going the right direction. And I completely agree with you. Um, we did have a very qualified, well-funded bitter that was a successful bitter um, because there had to be a change due to many circumstances um, that it was going to go from primarily floating to primarily land-based. Council advised us that we had to put out a new RFP. When we put out the new RFP, we lost our successful bitter from last time. Uh, they had other private projects that they got in, in, in the works they couldn't do it. So then you were the one who put in a bid. And are you willing to discuss your bid? You must be willing to discuss your bid in public because you released it to the press. Well, what I released was the cover letter of my bid. I didn't release the facts, the figures, the numbers, and all of those issues. But yes, I'm perfectly willing to <coughs> talk to anyone at all about what needs to be done to upgrade the arena to get it back in operation. I don't care who runs it. I'm not here for well and right. I'm here for the voters. So, okay, so your bid is not an issue as far as you're concerned? No, it's not. The fact that the bid was canceled is not an issue as far as you're concerned? Absolutely not. Okay. My and last time is the things that are in the RFP are not conducive to a business person running a restaurant. Would you be willing to sign a release so that we could talk with you about all of those different aspects of, of, the, of the bid process? Would you be willing to sign a release so yes. that we could discuss that with you? Yes. Good. I've got one. Awesome. Why don't you sign it? <laughs> We've got a notary right here. Awesome. Uh, I just, uh, just in, in the interest of uh, fairness, I myself don't sign things on the spot without a without legal counsel now. No, I am not. <laughs> I am, no, what I am saying is uh, I, I don't know that it's a good practice for a commission to put uh, documents in front of uh, citizens to sign immediately. If you do want to, that's certainly your prerogative, but I don't want you to feel pressured in any way. Oh, no, I'm going to read this, and before I leave, I will sign it or not sign it. She's a notary, so. All right. Well, yeah. without that, it tells me that we can't gather the information that we want without risk of you coming back and biting us. So I want a release from you. I don't think it's necessary, absolutely, but I want to make absolutely sure. If it isn't necessary, then you shouldn't have any trouble signing it. No. But the other thing that I also want to point out is, well, are you still the president of the Harbor Free Homeowners Association? Because I think you said last time that that's who you were representing. Yes, I am president of the American Homeowners Association. Well, let me assure you, nobody wants a restaurant, a facility, a conference center, you name it, at Smithville Lake more than I do. It is a county asset. You mentioned Kearney and Liberty, and I know you didn't mean anything by it, but those are county assets as such. Smithville Lake and the parks and the trails surrounding that, that is a, a real gem for Clay County Parks and Trail System. 
Nobody wants it anymore. I don't even know if you know or not, but I've lived in Smithville for over 30 years. I was frequently out there enjoying the, be the beauty that we had with regard to castaways before the straight winds came in and blew it into the lake. At that time, we also found out that there were numerous problems with the land-based facility, including that it sits on the oldest dock on the lake. You don't want any unsafe condition out there, and we don't either. But it's the oldest dock on the lake. So as a result, yes, our successful bidder suggested that maybe the best thing to do is to have something that could be open 12 months out of the year, which would be much more conducive to a long-term bidder um, and long-term business and long-term viability of bringing people to the lake as a destination. That's what we all want. Also, all of our slips are rented. I believe we're absolutely full to capacity. We could use another dock slip out there. Right now, the way things are configured, there isn't that much room. So I'm completely on board with what you're saying. We need the restaurant. We need a convention center. We need a conference center. We need a new dock. But we also have to operate within legal parameters. And um, I can't force somebody to bid on something. We wanted them to bid again, but they didn't. So we can't spend $700,000 of taxpayer money betting and hoping that somebody will come to operate it. That would be an unwise use of taxpayer money. But we can work together, just like we worked with the Silva Code Gap Club, uh, just, just like we've worked with many other groups, um, to get things where we would all like to see them. And I, I think, basically, we have much more in agreement than we do in any disagreement. Oh, I'm not in disagreement with you at all on this. I actually have a group from uh, DDOC at Camp Branch that is the gentleman put together a very succinct proposal, wants to be part of any committee. He put together a whole outline, and I basically told him I appreciate his zeal and his zest for this project. The problem is to do everything he had, because he had a steering committee and everything, the parliamentary procedure down to the wire. The problem is we have six weeks if we plan to do anything this year. So we, we, we need to move quickly, and that's what I'm trying to do, is get a fire built somewhere. I will meet with this gentleman. I will read this in just a few minutes when we're done. 99% uh, chance I'm going to sign it unless it forbids me from doing something. I don't care if my information is public. It's anything that someone else can't go out and figure out. Quick example, the RFP for the vending machines, I reviewed it. I did the numbers on it. In the document, which was public last year, the gentleman made $8,000 in revenue. He gave the county 23% of that. That dropped his revenue down to, let's say, $6,000. He actually made $2,057. So of $8,000 he worked for, he paid you guys, not you personally, but $2,057. That dropped his revenue to $6,000 the incoming. If 50% of that money was his product that he had to put in the machines, $8,000 divided by 50 or divided by 2 is $4,000. He worked all year and made $2,000 off of 25 vending machines, the cost of which was $36,000. If the county wants part of the revenue off of everything that people do for them, you're not going to get bidders. And that's just one of the things in this RFP for the restaurant. But we can discuss that. I crunch numbers really quick. <laughs> I, you're you're going to be hard pressed to be more conservative when it comes to finances than I, than I am. <laughs> but I, I appreciate what you're saying. Um, with and, and again, I don't know how to express to you that all three of us wanted that or it wouldn't have been in the budget. But we have to have somebody willing to operate that is a qualified, financially sound bidder before I would feel comfortable spending that kind of taxpayer money. It is in the budget. We can do it. But we also have to have a qualified bidder. And trying to get that done with, with the various layers that we have to deal with within six weeks, I, we can talk with staff. We can see what we can do with regard to it. But 
um, if we are able to do it, doesn't mean that we can force somebody to bid. So oh, well, I agree with you on that. But uh, I, I think we, I, I mean, we understand. Well, I'm going to read this. I'm going to talk to this gentleman. I'm going to see where we go. Uh, see you next Monday. <laughs> I'd like to add, yes, add, add something. Uh, uh, I, I will we'll say the same thing. We all want something out there so bad. And, but we've got to, there's so many rules we have to follow. I mean, the safety rules and, and, and everything. But uh, I do think. With your, well, I will say, expertise, it seems like you're, you're, you're good with stuff. So once you get with Dean, and then we can get some information, and especially the, sometimes those RF, RFPs limit a lot of people. So that that's be a really good feedback for us. And so can't wait to hear what's next week. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Well, as I said, I've got several people who would like to be a part of the development process. Uh, they've already volunteered. You're more than welcome to go visit our Facebook page also, uh, or discussion group. It's actually a discussion group. Uh, they're behind it. We're trying to figure out though how to let everyone in the county level know that we really don't want the land-based restaurant. We have a great fear that we know that the most used campground is on the west side of the dam, down in the spillway bottoms. And we totally fear it being put in there, because that's where a lot of the campers are, like this like, past weekend. And that's so far away from boats that it scares us. Uh, by the way, before you leave, what is the uh, Facebook designation so that we can visit it more easily? It's the, uh, you may have to go through a member to get there and we can add you. My Facebook page is Weldon. I'm in Smithville, Missouri. W-E-L-D-M-N. And it's the Smithville Lake Boaters Social Group. Okay, so I can put that in for the window on Facebook and it should bring you up. Right. It's just Weldon at Smithville. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And please always feel free whether there's this issue or any other issue to come and, have, and, and tell us what you're I appreciate you giving me this.